I'm making these little, I'm taking this, these four by four blocks and I'm gonna make coasters out of it. And I'm actually gonna back it with felt. I am gonna paint the back just in case um, anything shows through. And I'm going to put felt on it. And then I'm gonna take four of them together and wrap it in twine. Thank you guys for popping on. Um, I'm really excited to show you how to create coasters with napkins. And so I have a variety of napkins that I purchased at Tuesday morning. And so um, I've got all different kinds of designs, um, like Oh Happy Day, florals, I have black ones, I have white ones, this one has like little eggs. You know, you can do all different kinds of occasions, like really springy. So if, I guess if you wanted to do a Christmas, Christmassy one, you could do a Christmas napkin. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint my coasters. And so it's just a regular four by four piece of wood. And the reason I'm gonna paint it white is because it really helps the, whatever you decoupage to pop. And I have my hair dryer here and I'm going to blow dry it. I'm using of course my DIY paint which I absolutely love. Today I'm using beadboard and um, it's really thick because I've used it for a little bit and I leave it open and the air makes it get thick. Um, but if I wanted to water it down, I can. This is a water-based um, paint, it's clay-based and um, there's no toxins in it, there's no latex, there's no plastic, there's nothing that can harm you at all. Um, have you guys ever decoupaged? And if so, what have you decoupaged and how have you done it? Because there's all different kinds of techniques. Um, there is an iron method, which is really cool. I've done that before on furniture. And then this one, we're just going to slap it on. So. So as you can see, I just covered the one side for right now. And watch, I'm just gonna put my hair dryer to it. It dries so fast. There's only nine ingredients in DIY paint and, the, and one of the ingredients is love. But it dries super, super fast because it's clay-based. What I'm gonna use as a medium for decoupage is DIY paint liquid patina. It's also called crystal clear chandelier liquid patina. Um, it looks a little bit different than the actual paint. It looks like glue, but what's really cool about this, like we have a nickname for DIY, we call it the magic paint. But honestly, this liquid patina is also magic. Um, let me show you. It is a transfer gel, it's a top coat, so we have Big Top is our liquid top coat and it gives you like a, a satin sheen, but this one is a little bit more matte and then it's also a decoupage medium. So have you ever taken a picture and, and um, put it on a piece of wood with transfer gel? I've done that before, like image transfer gel. You can do that with this also, but I mostly use it for decoupage. Awesome. Listen, once you do this, you're gonna love it. You can decoupage furniture, Karen. You can decoupage anything. Um, wood, metal, um, you, can, you can do mason jars. Um, I bought this originally, this one, because I was gonna put it on mason jars. Um, I probably still will, maybe for the spring. So I'm using just a regular napkin. Um, the, diff the, the napkins that you wanna look for are the ones that say, this one says triple ply. Some of them are um, two ply. This one is triple ply. The hardest part is separating the napkin. But if you can just get a hold of that top layer and you can just take it right off, just be careful not to um, rip it. So we're just gonna carefully separate it. Did you know that you could do that? Did you know that that's what two and three ply means? It literally means there are two or three pieces of paper that make your napkin. And so, see, I don't know if you can tell because of the, my ring light, but it's really, really sheer. Like, can you see my hand behind it? It's super, super sheer. 
And so doing this white coat helps the colors really pop. I have this really cool design and it has actually some typography on it, but I can just line this up however I want and normally what I do is I'll just do all four just a little bit different, but you can tell that it's, you know, it goes together. So I just kind of figure out where I want to place it and know, come up with a plan. And then I'm going to take my DIY clear patina and I'm going to just paint it on. I'm going to be a, a little bit generous with it. But anyway, I got I bought them. I went last week and I bought like a whole bunch of napkins. Um, and they're inexpensive. It's not bad. Um, let me see. The one that I'm using right now, um, they're $2.99 for a pack of 20. Um, so you, if you're use, if you're buying them for decoupaging, you know, for for business or for craft or for gift to giving, um, it's it's not bad at all. And like I said, when I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and I'll put the Amazon link of these that I bought online. All right, so it's wet. And I'm just literally going to place, actually I don't want that. I'm going to place what I want on it. And I'm gonna start just patting it down and using my finger to get the wrinkles out. So a lot of times people are scared to decoupage because they're scared of having wrinkles. I'm not, I used to be. I used to decoupage back in the day. I mean, I could do a whole bunch of these and just let it dry because it will dry very fast because of the clay. And this is thick, I haven't watered it down at all, and so it will dry very, very quickly, just like clay would. So I'm just gonna hit the blow dryer. It doesn't have to be perfect, but then you can just sit there, and I'm just kind of getting whatever wrinkles I can out. But again, like it's okay if you have a little bit of wrinkles. Um, but this is going to be my, my finished block. So now, what you have to do is put another coat of the liquid patina on top of it. And what this does is that it seals it and then it makes sure that it adheres to that bottom um, glue, glue, for lack of a better word, but liquid patina. A lot of people will use Mod Podge. I have used Mod Podge before. This is so much better than Mod Podge. Um, so much better. and. You know, again, all of our products are safe. You don't have to worry about babies or animals um, licking it or getting hurt or, or anything. So I'm just putting a good amount, um, making sure I get all of the edges. All right, it's dry. Um, and so, isn't that pretty? I just love this paper. I fell in love with this paper. Um, there's this one, there's, I, I got the same paper in different shapes just in case I might want to do something a little bit bigger. Um, but there is a little blue bird in there. And then um, normally you don't see a lot of napkins that are like, I have it that are black and colorful like this, but this is another one. Um, here's that, the back side of that. And so here's a more springy with butterflies on it. Um, See, it's already like you can you can just break it off very gently or you can use a sanding um, sponge to do it but see it just comes right off because of the patina that I put on there the napkin will just easily come off and then you can add more paint on the side I can sand off any of the paper that I don't want on there if it, if it glued on there, um, I can do that. So it's super, super fun. Now, I did another set, but I don't have them on here, but it's the picture that I posted on my Facebook page. And I did two coats of the transfer gel because it is a top coat and it was kind of matte and I didn't, I didn't, I wanted it to have a little bit of a sheen, so I actually topped it with 
a mixture of Big Top and Golden Ticket. I know why paint is amazing because, you know, everybody, a lot of people know it for furniture painting. And even on our DIY uh, Facebook page, I mean our website, will tell you that it is a great furniture paint. But it's not just for furniture. You can use it on so many different things. Smalls, ceramics, glass, metal, anything. But you can take this and you can water it down and you can actually do watercolor. So if you're a really good artist, you can, you can paint whatever you want. You can use this as your sealer, the image transfer. Um, you can add, like if you did paint something and you wanted to decoupage just part of it. Um, you can, what's really cool about tissue paper, I just learned this recently, but if I have a little brush and I dip it in water, I can outline a piece of the napkin that I want and it will allow me to tear it off slowly just like I did on my coaster and then I can just decoupage pieces like a leaf, a flower, the bird, um, just a little section of the napkin and when you do that, when you use like stamps and paint and mold and napkins, that's called mixed media art and so that gives you the ability to the sky's the limit. You can do anything that you want to do. Um, if I wanted to take these napkins and put them at the side of the drawers, you know, so that when you open the drawers they're really pretty, or even on the front, I can decoupage these napkins on on you know any furniture piece that I want. Um, so really, the sky's the limit, and it's really inexpensive. So I'm just gonna use a like I said I'm gonna use the sanding block to finish this off and like I said I'm gonna do four so see I still have a lot of paper left so let's see technically I could make one two three I could make at least three more of these if I just did them side by side so if I would have done that on top I could have decoupaged six coasters, six 4x4 four four coasters with this one napkin. And I bought all 20, the whole pack, for $2.99. So, as you can see, it's a really, really great way to make uh, your budget stretch. I can't remember how much I paid for these wood coasters, but like I said, I will put the link um, when I'm done on this live. So, how many of you are going to try to decoupage? That I will seal these with Big Top because I think I like a little bit of the glossier look and I probably will do at least two coats of the Big Top on here.